Oh, here we are in Mumbai. And in this video, I'd want to start to talk about some of the challenges that Mumbaikers face whilst living in this mega city. The first thing I want to talk about is its rapid growth and expansion along this peninsula. As it's grown and expanded, more and more people are living in areas that no one's lived before. And that then means you don't have the same facilities that you need. So you don't have doctors, you don't have schools, you don't have shops, you don't have that basic infrastructure that is needed for that area. On top of that, what happens to waste? The local governments are not investing in providing waste disposal in those areas. And 800 million tonnes of waste is then dumped in local rivers. And on top of that, you've got problems such as um, batteries being thrown into rivers, industrial waste, all this stuff is going into rivers, creating some real challenges for the people of Mumbai. The next issue to talk about is congestion. And I'm just listening now to the road below us. It does sound incredibly busy. You've got so many cars, so many people on the roads trying to get from A to B. Now that in itself creates massive problems in terms of, um, in terms of pollution and in creating that really bad uh, air quality for Mumbai. But also 90% of people in Mumbai travel by rail. That in itself creates big strain and demand on the railway network. And that then can create big, big problems where if, if a train was to be delayed, that then could cause hundreds of thousands of people to be late for, for, their, for their wherever they're going. So that creates big, big problems. The next thing to consider is housing. Now, rent in Mumbai, as I mentioned previously, is some of the highest rent prices in the world. And that can create huge problems for people in this area. Now, people then can't afford to live in these apartments or they then have to go and live somewhere else. That then means that more and more people will then end up living in informal settlements, creating a bigger strain on the, on the local area, potentially more pollution and more problems for these areas. Now I want to consider living within slums because there's some real concerns about living within slums. I've mentioned in my previous videos the idea of um, there being great opportunities. However, there can be some issues. Firstly, water. When we walked through Daravi, we actually saw pipes on the floor. Now that then means you've got water that comes in and our tour guide said you only get water brought in once or twice through those pipes a day. That then limits the amount of access you have to water. Okay, and on top of that, if you don't have then access to water whilst living in informal settlement in Mumbai, then what do you do about washing your clothes? And a lot of people then tend to wash their clothes in the local river, um, meaning that your clothes aren't clean, as I've mentioned previously. On top of that, it is very expensive. So the land value is very expensive. And 50% of slums in Mumbai are private land or on private land. That then creates a big, big issue. As I've mentioned about Daravi, this idea of investment. People want to invest, they want to do stuff. Now that then creates big problems when you're talking about slums, that what will happen if there is investment in those areas? What about if that is private land? May people want to take that land back and have it back for themselves. On top of that, working conditions. It is very dangerous at times working within industries in these informal settlements. And as I walked through and we looked at the plastic recycling, making of leather goods, there was absolutely no safety equipment. There was no health and safety. People would be there. They'd be doing work without any face shields, very dangerous um, fumes coming out, lots of chemicals they're working with. So that then creates a really dangerous environment for people to work in, okay? So all in all, we've said, we can see here that there are some real challenges for Mumbikers living throughout the whole city. I would like to, to conclude though and say it is amazing going into this and exploring the city because it is quite evident that there are some amazing opportunities for people living here, but it's important to consider that people do have some struggles. Some great job for you in action.